You're watching the firearmschannel.com. For more than 40 years, Afghanistan has been bombed, shelled, and mined. Bags of ammonium nitrate are now smuggled over the border from Pakistan under the guise of fertilizer and used in homemade explosives or HMEs. Old Soviet mines and shells still litter the countryside, and insurgents use innocuous household items to make improvised explosive devices or IEDs. These numbers are saved here. Whenever you are dialing this number on the uh, on the cell phones, then there is a caps, electric caps. Uh, and uh, automatically that caps activating and the ID goes off. And while stepping on one almost certainly means serious injury or death, disposing of them can be just as dangerous. Just outside Kabul, local elders discover what they believe to be old Soviet explosives. A specialist team from the Organization of Mine Clearance and Afghan Rehabilitation, or OMAR, led by Hukum Khan Rasoli, is called out to investigate. It looks like a, uh, like a toy for the children. When they come across, they, they do not have that knowledge to, to recognize this is UXO or some ammunition. They start playing with that. Uh, that, that cause to blow up and the, most of the casualties now in Afghanistan is from these items. The first thing that strikes you about these unexploded devices is just how inconspicuous they are. They really do look like any other rock. And you can just imagine a child from the local village, which is about 100 meters in that direction, walking over and picking one up. And that is how thousands of people die in Afghanistan every year. After the explosives have been found, many are destroyed in place, work that requires a deft hand and nerves of steel. One wrong move could see an explosive ordnance disposer blown to pieces. Jack, do, say. But not all explosives are detonated in location. Explosive ordnance disposal teams from the Afghan security forces collect weapons caches from all over the country and bring them to police stations like this one, where they are prepared for disposal. متوجه مردم افغانستان ساخته راه را تعدید میکنه قریه و قصبات مردم آزادانه نمیتونه متفلاش به مکتب بره به کشت و زراعت ما خطر وارد کرده دیقان و زارین ما نمیتونن آزادانه کار کنن After the explosives are diffused they're taken to controlled disposal sites such as this one in Jalalabad eastern Afghanistan Today, conventional weapons destruction teams, or CWDs, funded by the U.S. Department of State, prepare to remotely detonate 2.5 tons of explosive materials. Around 100,000 tons of uh, UXO uh, are separated uh, around the, uh, Afghanistan. And just imagine uh, that uh, by collecting and uh, destroying of those items, uh, how many uh, innocent people's lives have been saved. Organizations such as Omar, Halo and Sterling focus efforts on training diffusers, clearing ordnance and running programs to educate local people on the risks of unexploded ordnance. With counter IED now an integral part of the NATO training mission in Afghanistan, the battle against explosives and the huge loss of civilian life they cause remains a top priority for both the international community and the Afghan forces. Missionary. This is Jake Tutman from Jalalabad for the NATO Channel. You're watching the Firearms Channel.com.